Hey, 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 you already know what it is, who it is, and you know how I'm coming. It's Life with NC, so go ahead and don't play around. Hit that likey, like, thumbs up. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome to my old crew. Welcome back to the people who are new here. My name is Life with NC. I appreciate you stopping by. Consider subscribing to my channel. I'm a variety channel. I do all kind of videos, vlogs, hauls, reviews, videos with my family, the story when my son was murdered. But anyway, I started my channel for fun and memories, and this is what I'm continuing with. But it would be nice to get more followers. Yes, yes, yes. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You won't be disappointed, and you'll receive plenty of love, love, love over here. Anyway, let's get past all that. Let's get to the reason why I'm here. Want to do the gravy over everything challenge for a step DIY queen 2K celebration. A hey, sis, congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Wishing you blessings on your channel and all your other endeavors. May your blessings flow. Yeah, but just want to come. You, I wasn't able to cook anything because my hands my hands are still messed up that's why um if you see me watching your videos sometimes i just leave a heart a purple heart because my hands you know i try not to scroll much or use you know my hands to type and that talk text is hideous it be texting things that i haven't said but anyway then you got to go back and correct them anyway again i'm here for the challenge you had to have grave over everything I have Bojangles chicken, breast and a wing, the mashed potatoes, and the pintos. And I got some store-bought gravy that I poured over there, over my chicken and stuff. Yeah. I wasn't challenged. I just wanted to show support, and I just wanted to be, you know, get, it, get in on the challenge, you know. And um, like I said, and I do like gravy, so, but I just wasn't able to cook anything. My hands... Lord, not working well. I'm on a leave of absence from work, from work. Um, I have my hold on. Sorry, I'm back, y'all. Had a package. Yeah. Anyway, again, I have the. I stopped by. I haven't had Bojangles in a while because um, it has started to mess my stomach up when I eat it. But hey, today I'm eating it. I don't want Popeyes. I don't want to. I wanted churches, but I don't want to get out. I wanted to go through the drive-through. So yeah, again, I had the Bojangles chicken. So hey, let's get started. Yes, yes, yes. I haven't eaten all day, and it's what three something. Yeah, but like I said, I just wanted to show support. I can't even hardly work my hand, honey. But, you know, I'm not going to complain because I have hands. It's been getting frustrating at times, but I got to work with what I got. You know, this ain't working. Y'all, I'm going to have to. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Smoking hot, look at that. It's smoking hot. You can like my girls and kids. Hey, y'all. If it ain't fried hard, I don't want it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mac and the gravy. They had some gravy on them. I don't really care for that gravy because they have the sausage in it, but hey, I'm eating it all today. Forgot to let y'all taste the bread. Some pinto while she's dropping. Mmm. Hit it with that bread. Mm. It's good, y'all. I haven't had Bojangles. My mom used to love Bojangles chicken. She was really a fan. My son loves it, too. Every time he comes to Charlotte, he 
he has to get it. And now he sent me a picture. He's excited because they're building one. In Texas, where he live at. Bob Zangas is coming to Fort Worth, Texas. But anyway, I think the challenge is supposed to talk about your favorite vacation, something like that. You went wrong. But, see, dripping, y'all. We used to go to Florida, my family, on vacation. We went a lot of times. My kids got older. We didn't go as much. So they got tired of one, but anyway. I think this is our first one. And a lot of us went. My mama. But we we were in the van um vans. I don't know what good times. But this particular one. On the way back, we got hit by lightning. But we had so much fun. We used to go to the amusement park. Family get together daily. My aunt used to have Bible study in the mornings. Because we, where we stayed at was like a, um, a um, resort. And they had, you know, like apartments. And so each one of them had you know, like two or three bedrooms. And they had washed and dried like a fully a house, apartment. So, you know, everybody didn't stay together. I used to always stay with my cousin, me and my boys, most of the time, because she really helped me out a lot with paying for it. Because that time, I was like, I don't have the money to go. I had three sons. But my family always looked out for me. Because the first time I went, um, well, the first time I went, I was like, I'm going. So I took out a for money for my full one time, $2,000. And I say we spent that, it was a lot because the parks back then were well, like $70 a piece. And I had three sons and they was very active. But they had to pay for the room, the food. But my cousin, a lot of times he used to, you know, let you pay what you can on the bus because he would like charter the bus. Man, we just had some good times. One year, my uncle and them, they would fish. And I used to have to be the one cleaning the fish because nobody else wanted to do it. And my sister knew how to do it, but she was like, we grown now, we ain't got to do that. So I would clean the fish. My aunt would cook it. We have some. I miss those times. And a lot of my family members are gone. My grandmama had eleven kids, six girls, five boys. My mom, my mom passed in twenty twenty one. She was the oldest girl still living. Now there's only three left. My my baby aunt, my youngest aunt, and my aunt. The Lord, she's 76, and my uncle, Bernard, he's the only boy. But when I tell you, back in the day, we used to have some good times, family members. That's why I do the videos you know, with my grandkids because if something might happen to me, I want them to see, you know, the times that we spent together on family stuff. And even my videos with me. They can pull up and see that mom. They might see grandma put on the on a wig. And she ain't clothes, but it's that mom. But yeah, that's why I like to make memories because honey, sometimes when people go on, that's all we have to go on is memories, you know. That's why I look at a lot of memories of my son. You know, my baby boy I have pictures and stuff and he have memories. And my mom, I did, um, you know, a couple of videos of her TikTok videos, and I look back at them when I miss her and laugh because she is hilarious. But yeah, 
that vacation fun. We even went to a um that no the first one yes went on the vans. My best friend back then went and um. I had got real sick. I had got something called a Spanish flu. I had to go to the emergency room and everything, but I just wanted to still make sure my kids had fun. Went to a go-kart place, and there was a family there having a family reunion. It was in Florida for a family reunion, and they had a, they came to the go-kart place. And we was talking to them. My kids was you know, mingling together. And in, how about we got ready, got ready to leave? We end up doing a dance battle with them in the parking lot with our kids. In that case, my, my son loved to dance and sing. My older son. And he battled with him. My, hey, he won. He was getting it. But yeah. Anyway. Like I said, we used to go to Florida. Good times. And my uncle was just talking about my uncle, the only. Bro, boy that's left Saturday I was talking to him Saturday and he said he wanted to do that start planning this year for a trip next year somewhere cause we even used to go to the beach sometimes we went to the beach Savannah you know as a family this is what's frustrating cause it's hard for me to open stuff drop stuff out of my hand but like I said I gotta keep pushing Keep pushing through. That's why not <clears throat> I try to hold things with two hands because this just drops out of my hand. I don't hard for me to grab. And my hands just do whatever on their own. But I'm still living because honey, it's a lot of people that's dealing with worse things than me. Cancer, lupus, you know. That's what I say. Everybody's journey is their own journey. Everybody has a different walk. You know? It depends on you, how you deal with your journey. How you deal with tragedies in your life. How you deal with things that's going on. Just like... <clears throat> My son, my son was shot in the head. He didn't make it. But I see a lot of people that was shot in the head and they made it. It wasn't their time. It was like when my son got mad at me, when they pronounced my son dead, pull the plug, he going by what somebody else, one of his friends got shot in the head and didn't know. That's not the same. Everybody has a different journey. Everybody has a different walk. You can't compare that. And that's something I'll never do. Just compare what happened to my son to somebody else's situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just like everybody grieves different. You can't tell no, you no know, people to move on, get over. No, never get over death, especially a child. That's the hardest death I had to deal with. But I get through how I get through. I'm feeling, feeling some type of way. I don't feel like being bothered. Then I take that day. To not be bothered. Because when you're not, I don't like to be around people when I'm feeling down or I don't even like to talk to people when I'm feeling down or, you know, in that dark place because I don't want to put a damper on anybody else. You know? Sometimes when I answer my phone, it's not that I'm trying to be funny. I don't want to talk to some people that understand people want to say, well, text me, no. You should understand I have to how to explain myself. You know. Just wait for me to call back. I don't get I don't get mad when people don't answer the phone. I really don't. But I used to, but now, mm mm. Like I said, everybody's going through something. People deal with how they deal with stuff on that. You know. 
how they deal with it. You can't judge nobody how they deal with stuff or what they're doing. You can't judge nobody about, you know, how they deal with stuff. I'm at the age I'm 60. I don't care. It's not that I don't care, but I'm not too into what people think about how what I do or, you know, how I look. It's not that I don't care. I'm always um be respectful of myself. But, you know, I'm gonna do me. I don't care. <laughs> You're not explain yourself. I see my mama, how my boy, my mama spoke her mind. She earned her right. No, I said, live your life. I'm sorry. Do what makes you happy. Because it's you. Life is short. Everybody's going through something. So do what you do to make it happen. I'm going to live my life. I don't care who says anything about it. As long as I'm not reckless, doing no crazy stuff, harming nobody and all that, or myself, I'm good. You should spread love, more love than c condemnation. Because a lot of people condemn people. Oh, you doing this? You? No. You're not a judge. You're not God. God wants us to follow his word, to be like him. Of course. Spread his love, spread his love, be loving. But he also wants to live our life. Enjoy life. People trip me out because, you know, I'm saved. I'm Christian dude. Okay, that's you. That's your walk. I'm a Christian too. I got God right here. And we definitely got a personal relationship, me and him. So, just because somebody might enjoy themselves, even dancing, have a little drink of wine, I'm about to say going around here getting drunk and doing nothing crazy, but enjoy your life. I don't do as much as I used to. I don't really hang out. Not that I was going to clubs and stuff, but even functions. I didn't slow down on Because I enjoy my peace and I enjoy myself. I have spent so much time by myself in these last almost eight years and learned a lot about myself. What I need and all of that. Learning to love myself and embracing who I am. When I fail, My face was messed up. I had to still look in the mirror and tell myself that I was beautiful because I was born in a dark place. No. Mm -mm. And like I say, I talk to God. I talk to God like we, that's my, yeah. He's my friend because he is, he's my friend. He's my father. He's my everything. So I talk to him a lot. And like I said, he wants us to enjoy life. He wants us to be happy. Do what makes us happy. Spread his love and word. And stop trying to judge people. Stop trying to condemn people. You don't know their story. You don't know their walk. You don't know their relationship with God. But anyway, it's me. Y'all know what to do. Like I said, those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. I hope you decide to come back. And I hope you decide to hit that subscribe button. But to my love crew, what? Go spread plenty of love. And you too. Everybody should spread love. That's what God wants us to do. I can't hardly do it with my fingers anyway. It's me, Life with NC, and I'm out. And congratulations again to Steph D.Y.I. Queen, girl. You did that. Go check her out. When I say she's a variety channel, she's a variety channel. She does travel vlogs, vlogs, wig reviews, reviews, sit down and eat, mukbangs, cook, 
She does it all. So go check her out. Again, it's me. I hope everybody have a blessed day.